How do you have a master bathroom in your master bedroom that you don't use for four years? Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. I might now know why she hasn't used this bathroom in four years. Hi, welcome to another episode of Designer Reacts. I'm Bregan Jane and I like what I like and I really like kitchen and bath remodels. They're always a good idea. Sometimes you guys get in over your head. So let's see what we have going on today. Okay, kitchen makeover for under $30? Did she mean 300? Wait, what? <laughs> $30 makeover is pretty aggressive. I'm a little worried about the busyness of this backsplash she's creating, but we'll see. And this is a rental, so therefore I didn't want to spend so much money. I mean, it makes sense. It's a rental. You cannot do a lot and you probably have to use peel and stick. I just wish there were more options offered in peel and stick. Hello brands, I wish there was more to offer in peel and stick wallpaper. If they increase the pattern size and the scale on this print, it would just upgrade it a little bit more. By the way, great use of teamwork. Like if you're doing wallpaper and you're DIYing it, DIY with a friend. I really like that she's running this all the way across in one nice movement. Use a smoothing tool, it helps. She did a really good job. I wish the scale on this print was just a little bit bigger. Okay, there's a limit on vinyl on vinyl. Like you've already done a peel and stick wallpaper. Adding another adhesive laminate to this space is gonna make it really seem like you just put a sticker over everything. Stickers on everything is for your binders when you're in high school. She could have done an epoxy paint, and honestly, these countertop colors don't offend me with the backsplash she already has. Yeah, I think she should have white epoxy painted those counters. Next time, call me. It's too much. But she's really good at peel and stick. She's doing more peel and stick. Come on, like, use some paint. Okay, okay, all right. You're a little sticker happy. I feel like if you're in a rental and you paint the cabinets white, as long as you get permission, they really appreciate the upgrades. Now for the doors. Please don't tell me you're gonna sticker the doors. I went to Dollar Tree and I got these papers. I she got more sticky paper. A small section first, like I- Oh, so she used paper to like change the form of the fronts of the cabinet and then use sticky paper. To what, every time you open these cabinets, it's just gonna look janky? I had a brand new cabinet look for- No. No, you did not have a brand new cabinet look. You just put literally tape over it. <sighs> Yum. No more literal words, please. We've moved past this phase. Black and white always works in a kitchen. That's what you learned from this video. Even if you use a sticker on a sticker on a sticker on a sticker. I just like, there's not even a handle on here yet and there's paper behind those cabinets. She's gonna be cooking below them. She's gonna be using water on the daily. She's microwaving. Like these are not gonna hold up at all. You've got a one week kitchen runner. Invest correctly. $30 is not what you wanna spend on a kitchen makeover. 300, maybe we can make it work. Sticky paper everywhere, where are we going next? Bathroom remodel under $500. It is doable. We have not used this bathroom basically since we've lived here and this August will be four years. How do you have a master bathroom in your master bedroom that you don't use for four years? It's not like the plumbing doesn't work. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I might now know why she hasn't used this bathroom in four years. You couldn't really see the mold before. That is disgusting. Oh, hello, Mr. Muscles. Nice to meet you. I'm gonna need you just to show me the other side. Just, just show me the other side. Just, just flip that over one. Oh, ring, ring. He's married. Don't forget, I love a textured tile. I'm just hoping they paint this white. Okay, for all you experts out there, we do not need a 24 minute video. We just wanna see what it looked like before and after. Epoxy paint, it's a quick fix. See how good that white epoxy paint is in a temporary fix? That's a good shower $36 makeover. $36, people, you have no excuses. Wood countertop, it's interesting for a bathroom, but he went to carpentry school, so it looks good. By the way, I love that she kept the antique mirror that's trifold. Girls, you know what I'm talking about. You wanna see the back of your head and the front and like, those things are great. I might have to bring back the trifold mirror just so I can see the back of my head every day. Four years? You waited four years to do that. 
Okay, how do you not use a bathroom in your house for four years? It was just a lot of effort for like a C plus B minus makeover. They used gold, which I like. They leaned into the antiques, which I like. They did an above counter ceramic sink, which I like. The red brick with the wood, with the gold, that's more of a tonality for your kitchen space. In your bathroom, think spa, so that brick should definitely go white. Emotionally, we all like texture in the kitchen because it reminds us of food. In a bathroom, we like smooth, clean surfaces because that's what we're trying to do in there, get clean. Is it an improvement? Yes. Is it something they needed to wait four years to do? Uh, I don't know, I would have expected a little bit more. All in all, nice try. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Designer Reacts. Don't forget to follow me across all social at Brigan Jane. We don't want you to end up a victim to somebody else's design leftovers. Tune in next week and don't forget to click to subscribe. <laughs>